Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. I suppose not really, it's, it, it's going to end up causing trouble. If, if I have him going too fast, it is going to end up causing trouble, isn't it? I suppose we, we can do this a little bit faster. We can put that up to 10k. We can put you up to 15k turn speed, field speed... I can go to 30k, I would have thought. Let's go to 40k. 40k field speed. Let's see what this... See if it copes with that. That might be... A, that, that actually seems like it might be a bit much for it. I'll bring it down to 30. And I'll bring the turn speed to 14 like that. Right, so he's come out to there, then he's going to turn around. He's got the correct offset now, and he pulls up beside the combine, and it inches forward until the combine is actually starting to unload him. Gets to this point. Shouldn't go any further than that, but then we've got to wait for this one. So this one will sit here. The combine is telling me to stop. Yes. But what you've also got to do is you've got to stay your butt right there until the combine has moved again. But it's not going to, is it? It's going to it's going to immediately try and drive in front of the combine. We know it's going to do that because previous experience has taught us that this is absolutely useless and it is dedicated to the art of destroying everything. You know, now that I'm ready and waiting and I've called it out, it's actually just sitting there and being a good boy. You've always got to be difficult, haven't you? You, that, that, you, you, you literally, you... I, I swear these drivers, that they, they, they're just dedicating their lives to making things difficult for me. That's that's what they're doing. We, now that I've said that you, you're doing better, you, you, you're what? You, you're going to drive... You're getting things lined up so you can go and smash into those trees, aren't you? That's what he's doing. You wait and see. That's that's what he's doing. He's waiting until he can go and do that. Once he can drive into those trees, he's going to be really happy. I'll leave that one there. You can stay there as well. We're going to go this way. Uh, there we go. That's the one that I want. We will unfold this one and we're just going to tidy up these few bits in the field right here. I've got a little bit to do around the edge, but I've done that course. That is finished. This field is all planted. So all i got to do is just kind of tidy things up a little bit. So let's... Uh, I'll put you out onto the field like that. Why are you going so slow? Why are you going so slow? You're only doing 8k. You should be going more than that with this one running. Okay, I, I, I don't actually know what that was in aid of. But I can at least tidy up this corner a minute. And then once I've tidied up this corner, we will work our way backwards around the field. I just want to do the edge of the field. And yes, if we were doing normal grain, I wouldn't bother with this. But because this isn't normal grain, this is grass, I would actually like to bother with this a little bit. I'm just going to bring this one along the edge of here so that I've got full coverage on grass right the way across the field. So yeah, in the comments section, I um, it might have been yesterday's episode by the time um, I, I've sorted out the editing. Um, but I was saying about, do you want the save game of this farm? Once we reach the end of this year. Before I start joining everything together into just one great big field. I'm not going to bother saving, uh, sharing that save game. I don't think there's any point. Um, but do you want to be able to take the save game for this one at the end of this year. Before I start plowing up all of the big fields. I'm, I'm happy to keep that one back and upload that save game file. It may take a minute or two for me to actually get there and do that. Why did that aggro phoenix go to move? You're fine over there, but what are you doing now? Are you going off to go and unload? Are you getting ready to go and meet that combine? What? 
He seems to be all right driving along here, although that's quite steep, that is, with the amount of grain that you got in there. That's, um, yeah, I, I, that's, that's quite a steep side on there. It's this sort of thing that you look at and you think, well, I don't know, that's, that's, um, that's, interest, that's an interesting one to drive. Okay, so he's going around the edge of the field. Is he just following the combine a little bit so that he's ready to unload the combine when it needs to be? Or what? He is driving into the crop right now, which is less than helpful. Or is he going back over to the beginning side of the... I mean, it could be that he's just moving to a new position so he's ready to unload this combine when the combine actually calls for a driver. And if that's the case, that's really quite good. I like that idea. But it doesn't appear to be the case. It looks like he's actually driving up here so that he can get right in... Oh, no, 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 no. The combine, when he gets to a set percentage, he's... The combine's coming around here because it's now getting ready to work the land work. Truck's going there. Now what are we doing? Just where it happened to be in order to go and do this is is confused everybody. What do I need to do now? That one's coming out there. He's lowering down. And he's going up there. So he's, he's unloading as well. So far, so good. But is that... Cause the Combine's not stopping when it should. The Lexian is in traffic. Combine's telling me to stop. So he's, he's, he's currently unloading. We're taking all of this out. We're not going to reach our 90%. But is the... See, now the truck needs to move. Now the truck needs to move. I mean, yes, it could have been a little bit more elegant than that, admittedly. But the truck did need to move out of the way. So points for the truck for trying. It did at least get that bit right. Uh, sort of. I mean, it, yes, it, it sideswiped and, and destroyed things. But it did get most of that right. We're on 91% on here now. And it looks like we're heading to the start point on our course. Combine coming around there. We're ignoring the combine. We're coming over to reach the start point on here so that we can spin round and then head back to the yard and actually tip this grain out because we're over 90%. That's what we've we got to achieve 90% on this trailer and then we can go and unload. So that's working as intended. That's doing what we want it to do. So th that's great. I'll let you keep going. You're doing that. You're doing great as well. I can come up to here and I can keep this one going now. So I'm just going to start that one back up again and I'm going to keep going along here. I've just got a couple little bits around the edge. Then there's a few patches there that weren't quite picked up. And then we can check the map. Double check the last few. And that's the field of grass done. I've actually got all the fertilizer on the field of grass as well as the grass all planted. we got lime on here as well, although technically you don't need that. I'm definitely not going to worry about doing any weed killer on the field. So we've only got to wait for it to be ready to harvest, and then that one is completed. I've got nothing else that I've got to worry about with that one. That's actually a really positive thing. So we're we at least making some progress, even if we're, you know, things are still a little bit slow and making me want to cry as far as the um, course play with the combine and the unloading thing is concerned. We're making some progress. We are making some progress, which is better than no progress at all. I've got a couple other little bits up there that I need to do. So I bring you up through this way. And a little strip all the way up through there. The strips, when there's strips missing with grass, that's something that bugs me personally an awful lot. Like, it really, really does irritate me having bits missing with grass. The rest of it... No concern whatsoever. Well, that is really struggling to get up there. It's because of the dip. That dip, like, it really doesn't like it. Like, a lot of machines really, really don't like these dips in the field, the way they work like that. You've got to avoid them at all costs. They will deal with just about any other type of terrain. But because of the way the models work and the physics work, these types... It really, really doesn't like that. That is just not... It's not going, is it? That is proper stuck. 
We've got a T9 stuck on the hill right here. That one right there is stuck. Well, not completely stuck, but getting stuck. We'll drag on up through the rest of the hill. Just get that last little bit out of there. I think that's all of the... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more planting I've got to do up there. I've got one bit here I just need to grab. I think that's going to be the last of it. So there might be one little patch there. What's that? I don't know. I'll drive over it just in case. There. And now let's go and have a look at the map. So in here... Oh! All that talk about the fertilizer, that was only where the lime was. I've still got to do a layer of fertilizer in the middle after the grass has grown. I said that the... Yeah, okay. So I have actually got to do one more layer of fertilizer on there. In order to get that completely done. I can't do plant. I have to go to grass like this and then... Okay, I see nothing on here to indicate that it is not planted how it should be. So I'll take that off of grass now and don't need to worry about that. That's now looking pretty good. So we can stop you, lift you, fold you, run you back to the yard. You are complete. Nothing else to deal with on there. That one is finito. Now, if we're going to be making a mega field, we will actually be able to join this one in sort... Well, no, we won't. Not really. Because I got the cattle pens in the way. We're not going to be able to, like, join a little tiny thin strip all the way over. We will be able to plow up some of that. Join it. I guess we can plow that up and join the grass in. It's, it's going to be weird looking. There's no denying that. It is going to be weird looking. If I go right in and, like, plow up the main roads coming out of this yard... That's going to... It'll, it'll certainly sort of work and do what we're thinking that we want it to do. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still umming and eyeing about quite how I'm going to do the big field. It might be that we do, like, two big fields. Two big fields might work a little bit better. Now, I know I didn't clean off that seed drill that I just plant, uh, parked in there, but uh, that's fine. I think we will do beans as our big crop. Like, we, we need to figure out what a big crop is going to be. I was wondering about maybe doing wheat or something like that. But honestly, I'm thinking now that wheat we don't want to do. I'm thinking that we will just do this. Now, I did say before that we might do two years of um, growing more crops. But, um, yeah, the, most of the feedback seems to be that you would like me to work a conclusion on this map and then finish things up. Right, and so the conclusion is one great big harvest on all of the fields, if we can make that work. What on earth are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? He's trying to line up with the combine, which is fair enough. So he's now lined up with the combine. Is he actually going to be able to unload the combine? Getting up to that point. Combine stops during unload, which is actually really good, I think. I think that's going to prevent us from having too many accidents. It will depend on what this truck does with the next bit. I mean, yeah, it does look cooler if you can have it unloading while it's driving along, but I'm definitely prepared to make that sacrifice. At this point, I am definitely, definitely prepared to make that sacrifice, so... You've gone to there, that is 14,000 litres of grain have gone into the tank right there. The We're waiting until position is free. Combine is turning. Whizzing back into there. You're not going to go into that combine, are you? You're going to come over here and you're going to stop. You're not going to do anything stupid. It is indeed. Parking up right there and letting everything carry. Okay, this, so far so good. So far, so good. Right. I I'm pleased with that. Now, something else that I want to do is I want to have a look on here. We want to go to land. This is the land that we own. The land that we've ploughed up. We've got that bit there ploughed up. But we haven't got this down here ploughed up. There's trees in there. So I've got one bit in here. So I can actually bring that round and we'll be able to plough all of that in together through the winter. 
Then over this side, I'm up to the edge of what I own over this side. So we won't do anything here apart from plowing that lane there, that road there. This bit down here is placeable road, so we can't plow over that one, so it's not going to make any difference. So there's no point really in joining in field one over here. We can bridge across field three, and we can sort of plow so that field three becomes part of the big field. So we've got this big field here, and then we can also add in as much as we can going up around here and getting that bit up there. So it will sort of come up and around there. Then we've got field four over here, but the edge of field four, again, it's another one of those that we can't quite sort of jump down through. So we're going to visit the cattle pasture over here. We're actually in the cattle pasture. I didn't expect to jump right into it. Uh, we'll come out to there. Is this bit over here that I want to go and have a look at? Is this a placeable? Because this right here, this is a placeable road that has been put down. So we cannot plow over this. We can't work over the top of this one. And it's the same with this one here next to field four. So we're not going to be able to do that much of a really big field. So this in here, this is all encased inside one big field. Now we know that that one round there, that is another bit of a big field in there. Um, but that, so anything that's inside the loop there. We won't be able to do anything with that. Field 5, we don't own. We don't own out that side. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of limited on what we can do with a great big field. Right? I can join in field 3 a little bit. I could join those there together. But honestly, I don't think there's much point in doing that. Right? So, really, we're sort of looking at joining this together and plowing in a section up here that might be entertaining. And then buying up those sections there. I mean, I could buy those three and that one. And then we could join that into the fields that we've got. Curious, though. Oh, no, that only goes up to there. This bit out this side, that would then be able to come out into one great big field. And so we could do a great big field, but it would be one over here. We wouldn't be able to actually join all of the fields together because of the where these roads are. These roads here, they're all placeable roads. We can't plow over them. They separate everything out. So field four wouldn't... We won't bother planting field four with it. We'll do the field three, field two. We'll plow across the track there if we can. I'll have to have, I think that actually that will plow over. So we can join that bit in, and that will be part of it. So then it will have to just loop around here, and then loop all the way over there and up. Unless I do some landscaping on there and remove some trees. We'll have trees that we need to remove up around this way. And some up through there. So what I think is, as I've got the harvest still going underway. You're fine, I can ignore you. Uh, don't want anything from you. What I actually want to do is I want to go to this one. I want to get a trailer. No. I don't want to go to that one. Shut you down a minute. I would like you. You've got a front mount. That crone over there, that one will take wood chips. I mean, actually, I don't need wood chips. I don't need to take wood chips at all. I'll just, I'll just do it like this. I'll just grab this one. So if I get that one on the front, right over there, like that. There we go. I'll keep, I'll just have this one, I'll do it with this one, rather than trying to use anything else. We're going to start going around and getting rid of some of these trees, because we have got a lot of trees that we're going to, we're also going to want to buy some more land, aren't we? So we're going to want to be buying up these chunks of land here, that bit there, that one there, and then I'll be able to at least get some of this as a big field, if I can go all the way around here. I'll leave that bit up there. And we'll see if we can work through some of this. But it's along the edge of field three that I want to do first. I just want to do a little bit of work on the edge of field three up here. The chickens have actually filled up their small pallet right there. So yeah, along the edge of field three right here, if I get rid of these trees, I could landscape that smooth and then we can join that in together, can't we? So there's one bit that I'll be able to do. I'm not going to start doing the heavy-duty landscaping yet. I'm just driving out towards where it needs to be. What are you doing? I see. Right, we, we've got some crazy stuff going on. Right. 
What are you doing? Okay. Oh, I see what it's doing. The combine's coming out here in order to do its unloading because I've got stop during unloading. Deactivate stop during unloading. Just because it's going this way. And now it's going to work. It will unload as we drive along here. I'll leave that going. I'll see if that does actually work. But this is where we ran into problems with it previously, isn't it? Right. And that is why we ran into problems with it. Because the stop during unloading doesn't work properly. So then I'll activate the stop during unloading. But then you're going to go to there. So I need to go to this one. Wait until fill level is reached. It does not like stop driver. Let me move you out of the way. So if I'm unloading while I'm driving in the fruit, it doesn't seem to like it. Drive course right there. Okay. For whatever strange reason, it doesn't like it when it's driving in the fruit. It wants to get out of the fruit as quickly as possible, but the combine itself doesn't like it for reasons unknown. Right, well that's interesting at least. It's sort of giving us a little bit of insight into exactly how it's working and why it's doing the things that it's doing. This one over here. Like I said, I'm not going to actually start chopping down all of these trees just yet because I do want to get an idea of what you all want me to do. But I'm kind of thinking that the next step will be... We finished this harvest. We have got quite a bit to go with the harvest yet because we've got that one over there. I want to get another combine running if I can, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep up with it. And then we've got... These two, we've got a few trees here that we want to get rid of. We're going to need to buy up a bit of this land. And, and there's some more trees over here. We'll kind of bring some of this out this way. And then this will be the edge of where our field runs. It will go up this way. Over the top of the hill right here. I don't want to go too close to the edge of the map there. Or well, we're going to end up having problems for ourselves. So we'll sort of come out over there like that. And we'll run it down here like this. And I tell you what, we can go a, a decent distance on this with where the roads are. Depends what sort of roads we've got laid. Oh, wait, wait a minute. No, we, we've got the right sort of roads here. We can bring this one all the way up here next to Field 5. The bit where Field 5 is, it's not a placeable road, is it? So I can run this one all the way along here, all the way into here, and that is not a placeable road. So I'll be able to go over the top of that one, and then that means that I can bring this one all the way over here, and we can run up to... I, I won't actually go past the edge of this field. I'll bring the edge of it over to here, somewhere like this, and I'll run on around here. Because of the shape of the road that comes in through there, we can go... Mm, no, we won't. We'll stay on the inside of this road. Or should we? No, no, no. Actually, I think it's all right. We, we, could bring, we could bring that one out so that it sort of comes over to here. And then we cut back in this way a little bit. That joins in on field five. Right there. And then goes in this way. So then we travel down the side of this one. All the way down alongside Field 5. That's where that road is. And that means that all of that bit in the middle there, that's, that's all going to sort of be taken up with it. And then straight in through here. So we chop out that one tree there on the corner. I will clear off this island at the top. And that's actually, I might start clearing that island off in a minute. Uh, well, that'll be one of the first things we do is clear off that island. And that's trying to unload the combine again on the wrong side. But then we come over here, we go on to field three. So I will take a few bits around the edge of it. But then I was also thinking, if we take away these trees here, 
that's not going to be too difficult. And then I can use the landscaping to just level down all of that bit right there. Smooth it all out. I could actually do that right the way. I no, that, that, there's no point in doing it any further than there. So we'll do it sort of up to the edge of the road over there like that. And then it can come up and it can come across the top here and then go into the next field. And then we head out over that way. That is going to be a huge, great big field. And we're back to doing this silly nonsense up here. So I need to go back over to these two. Right, so you right here. What are you... What, why are you doing this? You shouldn't be doing that. So what I'm going to... You know, I don't, I don't want to worry about you. It's you that is being ridiculous. Go to there. Because it's doing the stop during unload, that combine is trying to cut a section for it to unload. Stop. Uh, no. Let's go to there. No. Here. Start at 50%. Oh, it's... it's it doesn't matter if I start at 50%. This is already doing it now. So what I'm going to have to do instead is I'm going to go to you. Go to there. And I'm going to, have to change that just for a minute. Then I'm going to have to go back to this one. And I'm going to have to be ready to stop the driver as soon as we've actually unloaded. Because this one is going to immediately leap forwards to try to get in front of the combine. Because it's on the wrong side again. And then I think we'll change it from 50%. Because I did have it on 50% because that's when it, you know chasing around the edge of the field would be a little bit better. Stop. 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 Stop right there. Stay out of the way. Right, he's out of the way just enough, so then I can go drive course like that. And he goes behind the combine, which is a lot better. It's a lot more civilized. Right, let's move you. Yeah, you don't get too close. I'm going to bump that one up to 75% right there. And I'm hoping that that might just improve the situation a little bit. And then I want to go back to you. Stop during unloading. Activated. How do I get it to stop, like, just unload into the fruit? That's what, that, that would also really, really help things. If I get it to stop in the fruit, that, that would be absolutely great. That would truly be wonderful. Now, I said I wanted another combine. If I could have a second combine working this, that would certainly make life a lot easier. So, we're going to have a look at what we've got in the way of other combine prices. They're, they're not, well, they're pretty much the same, aren't they? It's half a million for one of these, isn't it? So we'll, we, we've got the combine like that. We've got the standard wheel set up. We've got the wild, wide tire. I'll go with the wide tires on there. I'm not going to worry about a GPS on there. Uh, $491,500. Midas will stick with the Trailborg. Wide tire Michelin. Midas. Okay, the wide tire Michelin is wider with the middle bit being smaller than the wide tires on the other ones. Anyway, $491,500. I need half a million dollars for that. And that's before we get to the header that we will also need. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of... We're up against it a bit here, aren't we? I mean, I'd still like to, I'd still like to be able to do it. I'd still like to be able to have another one of them. Let's, let's see if I've got money. Um, am I able to get more money? Uh, borrow, right. Let's see how much I can borrow then. I'm going to keep pumping this until we've... What's, what's another header? Another header is going to be 100,000 above that. We ought to be able to take our loan up to 3 million. It's a percentage of the farm. Right, we... we... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.